but the personality is as we kind of say we know um but a lot of people understand it to be that it's formed from your experiences especially young experiences yeah. when you're three yeah. four five years old whatever forms the basis and then everything that happens somehow shapes you and what you're saying is that keeps running Absolutely. as the personality yeah now what about the the gross side of the personality does that the Become neurotic more. drive to find oneness simply falls away, and then there's there's something that's very harmonious there that was there anyway. But the whole neurotic drive to find, which is, or you know, there isn't anybody in the world that isn't se actually seeking oneness in the end. What we see in the manifestation is simply the longing to come home. All desire is the longing to come home. That falls away, and anything that's around that that's neurotic falls away. But the character still goes on. Uh, you know, habits, preferences still happen, but they aren't anybody's. It's the brain functioning in the world. Um, how about, quote, bad habits? Do they go on? They could, although to some extent, again, or, or, or the habit of drinking too much, let's say, doesn't matter, is, is really only a seeking for the comfort of not being whole. So when that isn't there anymore, there wouldn't be a, a wish to drink a lot or smoke a lot. Okay. But the greatest, but all those are addictions, but the greatest addiction of all, of course, is me. Yes. <laughs> You've got a great laugh. It's <laughs> I've never met you before. I've never seen oh, you before. Yeah. You. It's a great laugh. You know, it's infectious. Mm. But this, this point really interests me, so I'm going to persevere a little yeah, bit on it. That's yeah. okay. So let's say somebody... Let's take the example of this guy, Benjamin, I use. Okay, he had his realisation with the gun. Now, let's say he hadn't had it at that point, and he did, and he was in a situation, and he, you know, he mm. used the gun or whatever, or was thinking of using the gun. After whatever happened to you, ha liberation happens, is he still capable of killing somebody? It's possible, but there isn't anybody in there that would do that. Nobody's ever killed anybody. The whole illusion that we, that the that the added, you know, individualism is real is is a fallacy. So there isn't anybody that chooses to do anything. Of course, the whole body, mind, the whole physiology acts in the way it does, and in and, and in character. But the but the whole idea that anybody has ever chosen to do anything falls apart. But you can't then say after liberation that this will happen and that won't. No, I understand that, but I'm, I'm looking for a kind of more of a, it is my mind, but I'm looking no. for an understanding of how the personality refines, let's say. That's the word I'm using, it wasn't your word, but you were kind of inferring that the, the gross the addiction drops mm. away mm. and wouldn't like a gun or violence, wouldn't that drop away as an addiction because that's a grossness? It would do, but I can't say it will. No, no, I understand that. There are yeah, any yeah. rules. <laughs> yeah. There's boundlessness. And in boundlessness, which is actually simply absolute love, Yeah, it's the absolute unconditional love. Of course, unconditional love embraces everything, tyranny, ugliness, discomfort. After liberation, discomfort still happens. You know, it isn't suddenly that you're walking in the Elysium fields in absolute heaven. Yeah. There's nobody walking. There's just what happens. And that can include pain, you know, unhappy, or not unhappiness, but pain, discomfort, all those things happen. So there aren't any rules. You can't say that liberation is about what we think of as goodness. Okay. And would you in your space, that's the nearest I can get in my language to well, where you are, well, would you f experience fear, anxiety sometimes? I wouldn't experience fear, but fear, fear happens. happens. Okay. So there's nobody anymore experiencing anything. There's yeah. just what happens, and that can include fear. And that fear is happening in your personality, presumably? It, it, it's, well, it's just happening. It's a feeling. I mean, in the end, fear is a very simple thing. It's just a, a feeling in the body, yeah. isn't it? It's a sense of something hot, and if you like, <laughs> which happens. But, of course, now that it's not happening to anyone, there's nobody taking delivery of it. There's nobody taking fear home to tea. Right, so it's not and the most some important inter... thing is thinking. Thinking still happens after liberation, but there's yeah. no one listening. Okay, so the fear can't really anchor itself. No, there's nothing to anchor yeah. it to. 
It falls yeah. back out into nothing. Everything comes out of nothing and falls back into it. Okay. It's like there's no, you know, after liberation, there's no me, therefore there's no stickiness. <laughs> it's one way I put it, you know. Yeah. There's just life and there's nothing getting in the way or uh, identifying with it. Did you dream? Oh, yeah. I dream, well, I don't, but dreaming happens. Dreaming happens, I'm sorry yeah. to be... I'm no, not sorry, I understand what you're saying. Dreaming, dreaming happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And are they interesting dreams? Or oh, just... well, I, well I, just as a matter of, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but the dreams after liberation are much more ordinary than they were before. They're more ordinary? Ordinary. Yeah. I mean, this is about something that is totally simple and ordinary. This yeah. is absolutely about something that's utterly simple and ordinary and absolutely stunning. Because, you see, there isn't anything anymore that's that's making calculations about what's happening. There's nothing that's looking at you and saying to itself, now how can I manipulate this situation with this person over there? That's all gone. Everything that arises is new. It's totally living in newness. It's like living in, in loveness. Because in love, falling in love has a very similar quality to this, because falling in love, in a sense, is 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 beyond person it's about being in love with love you talk about unrequited love on yeah. the uh, front page of your website mm. yeah my sense is that you know um, we're fascinated by unrequited love the story of our, because it, in a sense it points to what we're really looking for which we can't know and have which is ultimate absolute unconditional love so we can't know that and we're fascinated by the whole story of not being able to find our love in someone else. Because somewhere subtly we absolutely know that the love we really long for is ultimately unknowable. But what's amazing about that love is that it's here in this room right now. That ultimate love is singing to, in our bodies, in everything. It's singing the song that the individual can't hear because the individual's looking for it where is it it's here it's yeah. this <laughs> do you know one of the loveliest things that happens and many many people this is happening to i get a lot of phone calls from people saying do you know i've been a seeker i've looked for this i've looked for that i've looked for you know the, the whole list now this has happened what's realized is that it what i was looking for has never left me it was always this yeah Actually, that touches me when you say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can feel that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the, you know, it's it's. The, <laughs> the bag on the that's it too. That's this too. But yeah. it's you know, it's yeah. there right now. It's yeah. not. You don't have to be anything or become anything for it yeah. to be there. It's just waiting for you to give yeah. up looking for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just sitting yeah. there, loving you, and loving everything. It's amazing. I mean, I'm still stunned by it. Well, you can probably tell. <laughs> I think it's the most amazing message there is. It's so simple and immediate. When people phone me up and say, oh, 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 tell me a story about them because they're still individuals yeah, yeah, in the story. Yeah, yeah. I say, so all there really is there is sitting on a chair holding a phone. It's amazing the effect that has on people because they're on about, you know, he yeah. doesn't love me or my mother's dying yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And suddenly they're... There's an immediate bringing back to just what there really is, and what yeah. there only is.